bad in my other video so we are back on a new live where you guys um can now see what i'm doing so what i was saying in my last video is that i'm trying out a new method of um preparing my client for her service which is the alopecia service um and i like to try out the new methods mainly because there's always some situation that I have to kind of figure out. So this is why today I tried the no silicone method. And this today is using a non latex base where I can probably give a little more longevity. I'll use that word and see how much longer it lasts. And this method is supposed to be perspiration, somewhat perspiration proof. But we are gonna see for ourselves. Um, my client does very well letting me know, you know, if it worked, if it didn't, we can usually tell. So this method doesn't have any water soluble silicone. Whereas usually when we do it, the silicone is water soluble. So that means that if she perspires, then it starts to loosen and then it dulls the life or lessens the life of the um, service. So we're trying this method out to see if this method is going to last longer, which I think it will, mainly because even if she perspires, it's not gonna really do anything. So what I'm doing is just making sure that my tracks bind. Another good thing about this is it's slightly sticky, so it gives me another level of um, hold on the tracks. But you do have to make sure that it is fully dry. And then for those of you that are gonna ask, oh my gosh, she's putting glue on her hair. My client has scarred alopecia, so it's scarring, meaning that the hair in that area is obsolete. It no longer grows. But I'm also putting the extensions on top of a net that's on top of the adhesive. So this is going to hold nicely. So I ended the other live because apparently the quality wasn't so good. And then we have our closing pieces. These are what we're gonna use on the top kind of end it and keep it nice and flat. So we'll put those on last. This is the hair that she gets. This is Empire. Um, like I was saying before in the other video, this hair, has a, it, they have a good, good quality um, salt and pepper texture. Whereas a lot of the other companies, even like those high-end hairs, they don't blend so well like this one does. This one actually blends very well. So I like this particular um, brand for salt and pepper. And it comes um, a lighter a lighter gray and then a darker gray. I said a lighter gray. It comes with one where the salt is a lot more mm -hmm. and then this one has the pepper is a lot more and then it has a little bit of salt.
And I like to put the tracks closer together at the base so that it blends more. It's a lot closer to um, the spacing between her hair and the extensions. So it just, it, it covers better. And then you want it to kind of go, go with the flow of her hair. But remember, her hair might not be super full because then you have a client who might have fine textured hair. So I add more hair at the base as well so I can fill her hair in at the same time. We used to actually put tracks in between her hair. We have stopped doing that over the, the course of us doing this service. Um, and this works just fine too, so. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna start spacing it just a little bit more rather than it being so close together. Um, also, because I'm doing a bang, you don't want your bangs to be super bulky. And then what I like to do, I'm going to tilt back just a little bit for me. Um, before I close out my space, I like to mark out right where I know my middle is going to be. So I'll mark that part out. Okay, you can see it right here. Um, just so what I'm doing my around the world, I'm not overdoing it. I'm going to do one more row of double wefted track and then I'm going to start my single weft. Alright, so before I start my single weft, I'm going to make sure that I give this a chance to dry. get everybody to go ahead and thumbs up this live that would be great So we're gonna go ahead and start with the single weft now.
Okay, so single wife is a lot thinner. But if it's a single wife, you also have to go a lot closer. do for people that's going bald and they're allergic to glue good afternoon good afternoon typically they're not allergic to glue they're allergic to latex there's latex free glues out there you can also use tape if needed but if you have an allergy to glue I can put a bunch of different layers of protection where the glue doesn't even actually touch your hair how much um doesn't even actually touch your hair and that would kind of alleviate the issue with the allergy. So there's always ways around it. So like the adhesive that I used at the base, it's latex free. And it's still an adhesive. Can you use tapins to cover her bald spot? No. No. Tapins are made to go in between the hair. So these pieces, I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive and just kind of set them down so they can dry. And I can use them a lot faster. I think I might end up using this one. I'm not sure. Let me do, I'm gonna do this piece.
long time no see. Hey. All right, so we're going to finish this small space here, and then I'm going to use...
All right. Very long. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to see my eyebrows. So no eyebrows. I, I don't want to see my eyebrows. Okay, I got it. That I don't have. I got it. I understand. <laughs> that is understandable. All right. So she said no eyebrows. That is what we're redoing. It's Friday, you know. It's time to retire. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. oh. No, no. I, I got you. I'm going to do it up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, Crystal. Okay. Is that long enough? Or is that too long? No, that's not too that's long. That's good? Okay. Because once you bump it, it's going to open up. Yep. Yeah. That's good. Do you have smoothing treatment services? I do not. I don't, my love. So this hair is basically the length of her hair, so I'm just trimming up the end. And we're going to bump it. And she is done. Miss Jay, what are you doing today? Home in my bed. My face is still swollen. I had surgery yesterday. I said, what are you doing to your hair today? Oh, my <laughs> hair. It needs a, a relax. Mm. Okay. Mm. So you went to work after having dental surgery? Mm. I had no choice. I have to go to work today. Yeah. <laughs> the holidays are here. The most busy time of your life. You don't because of formaldehyde. I don't because they don't work. I don't really care what's in them. Long term, they do nothing but damage the hair. That is why. All right, so we're going to use the one and three fourths an inch, which we also call it the red plate iron. This is good for bumping like bobs, longer hair. You're welcome. And I did spray some Sebastian Shaper Plus. So that, that phone ring like that when you want a crime scene too? Ma'am? That song ring when you want a crime scene like that? What? That song ring like that, that phone ring like that when you want a crime scene with your treated up with your soca. That's right. Hey. That's a little odd. It is what it is. Sir, I understand you robbed the bank and then your phone started ringing. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I have a secret service agent that's a client. Secret agent man. I wasn't able to show you guys her face, but she's no, here. Just, just, just pop it over there. Just talk about the hair. <laughs> you guys remember that movie, that show Quantico? She went there. And trained for her secret FBI position. 
I got a lot of government officials in here. If you guys know that show Quantico, it's on Netflix right now. Everybody on there like, yeah. Yeah, they don't see me. My hair is relaxed and fine. What products can I use to make it fuller? If it's fine, it's not going to get fuller. There's no such thing. Fine textured hair is never going to be full. Take it from a person that knows. That's what I have. So your texture is fine. So that means that that is what you have. Now, if you said that it was damaged and fine textured, that means that you're almost bald. That's also a thing. Then we can say, yeah, you need products for repair, but that's just your texture. So really your focus needs to be how to keep your relaxed hair healthy and not worrying about getting it thick. Mm -hmm. That's not a thing. If you had that same amount of hair on your head and it was coarse or medium textured or coarse textured, you wouldn't be able to comb your hair. See, Rosalie says she's seen Quantico. <laughs> you hear how she typing? You can hear. <laughs> she's sending some top secret email. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear how she typing? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And when she pulls up, she has to park in the back. Mm -hmm. Hey. Good in yourself. Hello. Hello. I'm just sit at the washroom. Hello. They died of laughter on me. I want to laugh too. What's the joke? None of your business. Such a I want to laugh too. Y'all think it's a game, okay? I had to go through level four security clearance just to even do her hair. <laughs> they say your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you, you too. I hope it doesn't rain. I forgot my umbrella. Well, isn't your security downstairs? Ain't he supposed to walk you out with them, bro? Uh -huh. Ain't your security detail out there? Ain't they supposed to walk you out? Crystal, why don't you behave yourself? <laughs> <laughs> She ain't talking about an umbrella. Her security details is downstairs waiting on her. <laughs> I've never heard of these things. Oh, you yes. all right. A good thing with this, she can actually push it right behind her ear. 
and you don't know the difference. If the breeze blows, her hair is under there. Does medications change the texture of your hair? It can. Definitely can. Um, all right, so we're gonna finish up with some Sebastian Schaefer to get the flyaways. The one thing with Empress hair, um, it does have a lot of flyaways, but it mimics gray hair because gray hair typically has a lot of flyaways. So it, it's really spot on for me. And that's another reason why it just kind of looks like your actual hair. All done. I love it. Thank you, you too. Thank you, Miss Christine. Mm -hmm. Get those done just the way I want. Good. Remember the mold. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. yours and then you fill that up for me. Okay. Thank you, my dear. I'll see you in a couple weeks. I'll see you in a couple I'm used, but I'm brand new. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit in my chair. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do one last client before I cut my live, which I'm going to curl her up. Because, you know, top secret is here, so I have to get off. Get, get off the front. Get off. Don't do cover top <laughs> If I show you the laptop that's in her lap, you'd understand. It's big <laughs> and bulky. <laughs> There's a lot of government official secrets in there. No, I can't tell you her name, you guys. She's super important. Super duper. Just know that she was one of the people on Kamala Harris's front yard. What did you say? You were in her front yard. Who's front yard? Kamala Harris. She was protecting the peace out there. Oh my Jesus. All right. 
Miss J O S. Come on. That's her that's her abbreviation on her job, y'all. Miss J O S. Tell me the truth. She hates me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all this time this thing comes in and it has little to no battery. Which really? Means, which means it wasn't plugged in correctly. Well who plugs it in? Me. Me. User error. I've just been running and running this morning. So. When your secretary called this morning, she didn't say anything about it. <laughs> oh, man. You must see my future. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she gonna cuss me out so bad. You <laughs> don't even understand. Oh, she gonna cuss me terrible. out so bad. Terrible. So what you got working on your tooth for? What happened to your mouth? Trying to uh, get rid of all the spaces. So I have Are you getting braces? No, they put a screw in. Oh. Why would they do that? So I can put a crown. Oh, you got an implant. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of those. They're not, mm -hmm. that, they're not that bad. No. You see how many I have? One, two, three, four, five. Eleven. Oh. 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 You don't remember that? Oh. God, you don't remember when I was out? That's what I got done. Oh. Mm -hmm. Two of them failed though. Really? Two on the bottom failed, yeah. They can fail. They can fail. And the two that failed, one failed a year and a half after I got it done because they did one right next to it. Mm -hmm. And I think once they gr they drilled in for that one, it loosened the first one. Oh, see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, luckily it's just one space here and then they're telling me the other side, I don't have enough bone. That we happened on one side. You can do a bridge. I don't want any bridge because I did it. food. Food doesn't get underneath there? You, they have a bridge. Um, it's like a floss. It's like a... It looks like a needle, but it's dental floss. Okay. And you push it under. It, it's kind of, it, it hurts a little bit, though, because remember the gum, the gum is self-healing, right? Right. So every time you push it under there, it's now... The gum is tight. Right. So it's not, like, unbearable, but it, it, it's uncomfortable. I only do it ever so often, though, to be honest, because it is, it is uncomfortable. But... When the implant failed, it was either I let them bone graft mm -hmm. and do another implant like six months down the road, mm -hmm. or I just do a bridge. And I had an old root canal with a crown on it in front, and then I had the new implant mm -hmm. on the back. And so they took out the old, the one that failed, they took that one out. The new one was in healing stage anyway, so I had to wait like four months. Mm -hmm. And then they didn't charge me for it. He did it all for free. Oh, God. And he refunded me the money for the okay. implant. So Yeah, that's what they said. I have to, it's going to be four months before. Before you can get the, um, the crown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I'm queen of dental work, honey. Oh, me too. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> queen. I don't think, I don't think nobody can top me oh, too, boy. Yeah, you got me, but I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> when I was young, because you know, when you're younger, they don't, you don't, my mom and dad didn't have money like that for me to be getting root canals left and right. And so every time I had a toothache, I would just go to the dentist and say, pull it out. Oh. Mm. So a lot of my back teeth were pulled out mm. because we didn't have it. And at the same time, the dentist wasn't really telling us that we had a ton of options because sure. you were like, sure. you know, you were not a high grade dentist, but you were mm -hmm. helping the best you could. Mm -hmm. So as I got older and my smile became a huge obsession for me, mm -hmm. that's when I like, I just said I was going to do it. Mm -hmm. So about $30,000 later, right. oh. here my teeth. I'm happy with it now, but yeah. it's been a long process. Like it's been three years of process. Mm -hmm. Getting implants and you have to wait and you get more and then you have to wait. Then it fails and you have to wait. There's anything else other than... Um the uh, bridge? Mm -mm. It's either that or you implant it again. Mm. Well, because you don't have enough bone, you uh -uh. don't really have a lot of I don't of have enough bone, and then this teeth, um, because the space has been there so long, it's no longer straight, it's like that. Mm -hmm. And so the space, they say it's too small for, for a tooth. I mean, the bridge isn't bad, though. Like, I have it now. Honestly, it... I haven't really had an issue with it other than just cleaning out under it. 
and you can also use um they call it a water pick you can use that too oh. it helps oh, okay. i mean they, it, they're never going to be able to remove it and do it unless they unsight they cut through it and give you a new bridge or something mm. but it's kind of like a lifetime thing right, right. yeah the minute they said bridge i'm like mm. Are you talking about food getting stuck, bad breath? Uh -uh. I mean, your other only alternative is a, a denture. Mm -mm. That's your other alternative. Mm -mm. That's it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Unless they have some new technology that they design that you can well, you know, put think, in a tooth and take it out. I think the medical field on a whole has come, I mean, full circle there. Oh, it's come, it's, it's come a long way. Yeah. It's come a very long it's just way. just amazing. I'm telling you. And of course, I told him, put me to sleep. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, for implant, I was awake. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I, okay, I was awake, but I, was, I wasn't I was really coherent. Mm -hmm. But it was a traumatizing thing for me, right? So all mm -hmm. I can remember to this very day is the dude, wake up, Miss Williams, put your head up. It's all I can hear it is in my head. Oh. I don't know anything else that happened. Oh my God. All I can hear is this man yelling at me to wake up, wake up, because I had to stay awake. Mm -mm. It wasn't so bad though. And so, you know, they give you that, um, what is it, hydrocortisone? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. And then it's, if time I read it and talk about um, addiction, I'm like, oh, it's not God, that serious. Not, it's, it's just tentative. Right, right. But so I said, let me just take time now, honey. That don't pain. help. When that pain hit me. Well, you don't even understand <laughs> that. that for, okay, so for implants, it's, it's not the same thing. It's very different. Like, very, very different. I bet. I'm like, uh-uh. I guess I'm going to have to take this stuff. Cause, mm -hmm. That is serious. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, they gotta stop it. Exactly. Exactly. What is the difference? You, you're trying to use your brain. I don't blame you. I would have done that too. I would have said the same thing. I'm going to call you back in a few minutes. So. So if you guys don't know who this client is, she, <laughs> we did a haircut on her weeks ago, months ago, maybe. It's been months, a couple months now. Um, and it, this is, she's 100% natural, no relaxer, no nothing. But this has been working really well for her, especially because she perspires a lot. Um, we've gotten the haircut down pat. So when we first did it, we left a lot more hair. Um, now we know where her hair technically works for her. And that's another reason why I always say your first appointment is always going to be kind of the appointment where we determine what works, what doesn't work, how it works, if this needs to be changed, if that needs to be changed. So when you're going to your stylist, that's exactly how you should approach the situation. Your first appointment is your observation appointment to see where you can and can't go. You don't card the cash. Do you do apple pay today? Do you do apple pay? Is that easy? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Business first, okay? Get that money. <laughs> What's your last name? Kylie C O. She has the texture, yes. This is the texture that people go natural and want. When they go natural, they're like, what? when is the curls going to come? They're not, if they didn't already. And I hate it. Hey, not, just really? it on here. Stop it. Not all of us have that. No, ma'am. You know how many clients have sat in my chair? 
And the first thing they asked me is, so I went natural like a year ago, but when are the nice curls going to come? <laughs> hmm. Okay, baby. Oh, you you have to change the one you used. You used the wrong one. Oh, I used the wrong one. Oh, okay. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wait, I'm not no. to... Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that the one you want? Yeah, that's Okay, that one. You need to have a class of there you different go. types okay. of texture. You, I can only say that but so much. Here oh you go, my right gosh. Um, y'all hear her accent? It's <laughs> French. It's French, y'all. <laughs> Do you know anybody? <laughs> Bye, beautiful. Thank you so much, sweetie. <laughs> Y'all have fun the rest of the day. <laughs> Y'all hear her accent? It's French. Let her cut up the rest of the day. <laughs> Don't hurt her too bad. You have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> put your stuff down. <laughs> I hope that thing is off. It's not off. <clears throat> Come on. I'm ready. Can Seriously, you put that there? Don't Would bring that thing over here. Don't bring anything over here. Can you just sit quietly? I will keep your back to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is intense. This is nice. Oh, God. See what I have to do with it? I'm your friend. <laughs> Thank God. Imagine. Could you imagine if I wasn't? Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all hear her accent? Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? You want to keep on your glasses? Or? Oh! You like my glasses? They're bright and look expensive. Who made those Doshi and Gabbana? <laughs> no, they're cute. I like, I like the shape. Yeah. It's that Devil Wears Prada shape. You don't remember her? Meryl Streep? Oh. She had a pair like that. You don't remember that? No. I do. They were black. Remember she had that white hair? You remember mm -hmm. that movie? She wore glasses just like that. Mm -hmm. I like them. And they are, um, what you call them? They change mm -hmm. in the sun? Mm -hmm. You know that can be a good and a bad thing, though, because if you're in a room that's super bright, <laughs> they change. Hey, you look like you got shades on. Really? Yes. Hmm. It happened to my brother. So if he's in a room where the lights are super bright, <laughs> his glasses oh, go man. dark. Wow. Hmm. I have to test that out. Is anything that resembles the sun? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's not a bad Because, you know, the glasses don't know. They don't know that right. it's sun or light. They yeah. just know that they need to darken. That's okay. So that means I could be looking around and... And your glasses are dark. Looking. Yeah. Oh, they don't hear dying of laughter, just so you know. Oh, jeez. Oh, Krista, you are truly a blessing to me. Thank you so yes, much. You yes, you Thank are. you, guys. Yes, I use laughter as everything. Yes, you have to. Mm. So what we're doing is, and I was just joking, you guys. She's top secret, but just not that top secret. <laughs> you guys actually have seen her many, many, many times. Oh my we God. celebrated her entire birthday on my YouTube. No clues. No clues. No clues? Okay. No clues. No clues. Mm All right, so what we're doing is with her, we've kind of adapted this less relaxer, longer grow out phase, um, mainly because she has thinning in the area where it grew back so many times. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we've come such a long way with that area. And it just started kind of like thinning a little bit. So instead of us relaxing her a lot like we've been doing because she had a shortcut, now we just kind of space them out on a standard relaxer schedule where she's almost at like eight, six to eight weeks, mm -hmm. unless it just becomes unbearable. 
but now we're just kind of going through it as a retouch relaxer rather than doing it as if it was a shortcut because she's no longer in, in the shortcut realm. And then this relaxer that I'm using on her is called FiberGuard. You guys know I don't really talk a lot of chemical talk, but um, this kind of uh, contributes to my hairstylist friends out there where you don't like to use different relaxers for different situations. So I use the fiber guard here and there. Um, it's not to say that it's a milder relaxer, but I feel it, it does, it feels a lot better on some of my clients. And that's kind of how you determine what relaxers to use on certain clients. It's not every client that I'm going to use the same relaxer. I was putting a relaxer on a client the other day and you were on my mind the whole time. <laughs> I hope in a good way though. Oh, no. See there, line I go. You ain't hear that? You won't go? Mm-mm. Oh. Bite your tongue. Oh, it's not your turn? It's just a message. Next, next weekend. Yuck. You got your holiday thing already? Yuck, yuck, yuck. You got that one already? Yeah. You doing um, it then? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. mm -hmm. The whole time? Yep. Poor you. They did that on purpose. It just seems to fall like that. That's the way it falls? Mm-hmm. And next month, it's um, the beginning of the month, the end of the month. Ooh, that's The beginning that's of the month, the end of the month. Yep. So. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. It's Did almost time. Yeah. It's almost time. Don't worry. Yep. It's almost time where they're going to throw you a party. Oh, no, no, no. I tell them no party. Just all walking, I walk in and walk in right out. That's what you said for real? Yep. I don't want to. I would have taken the party. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. I would want the party. Nope. Just how I walk in and walk out. Stay la vie. All the best to you. Until next time. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing call it today, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You see them ugly grids? They're rough. I don't lie. They're hard. Oof. Gosh, man. Mm -mm. You know, I, I was sitting there looking at the the, um, the young lady with the hair uh -huh. with all those grids. And I'm thinking, you know, I should be able to sell mine. <laughs> really? It's like, I don't know. They're aggravating. Gray hair, like the in between the salt and the pepper. Mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. It's too much. I don't like it at all. At all. And some ladies, it looks really, really nice on. But it I does. Be one of them. Some like if it's a hundred percent salt, mm -hmm. I like it. I like yeah, to see it. Yeah. And it's like that really pearly silver. Right. Right. Hold on. What you said? I tried the fiber guard on my last client. I like it. I was using a firm sensitive before. So I've, I've gotten out of the realm of using sensitive scalp only as a type of relaxer. Um, mainly because it, it's, even though it says sensitive scalp, is it really sensitive scalp? Not really, because it processes just as fast or if not faster than the regular conditioning relaxer. So I don't really use, I, honestly, I use more sensitive scalp for shortcuts than I do long hair because I know it's gonna get the hair bone straight. Whereas the conditioning relaxer, it's not really made for the hair to be bone straight unless you keep it long enough to manipulate it. So I have clients come in that are new. Hey, um, I only use sensitive scalp relaxer, why? Um, because my scalp is sensitive. What makes your scalp sensitive? You don't even know. Your stylist just told you that they're using sensitive scalp and you're just going along with it. I used to use a lot of Mazzani years ago, though. This was a long time ago when I first started. But once Mazzani started offering their relaxers um, in the Hood Beauty Supplies with no problem, even after you report that they're selling it to retail clients, I just said, nope, I'm okay.
don't know why it always sounds like it's raining. That's the AC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if somebody told it flushes the restroom, it sounds like it's raining. Because wow. mm -hmm. I'm right next to everything. Mm -hmm. hmm. Pack your trip. Does FiberGuard also make medicine? No, no, it doesn't. And I like FiberGuard too because it's thicker. It's a thicker formula. So it really like coats the hair. Not really. That's the only that's the only issue that I have is you have to floss with a bridge floss. Mm -hmm. Other than that, mm -mm. I don't I don't feel anything. I eat what I want. And by the time they put the bridge on, the whole area is fully healed, so it's not tender or anything. Mm -hmm. Because it's been months. So now when they put it on, mm -hmm. everything is already healed and it's just like a cap. Mm. Mm. The only difference is it, it can become aggravating because in your mind, you want to be able to take a toothpick or a piece of floss and clean between your mm -hmm. teeth. Mm -hmm. And there's no cleaning between that. Because it's all one. It's one piece, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good for like the back of the mouth. Well, that's the areas that I'm trying to work on. But I wouldn't get more than one. Oh, yes. well, I don't know if I'd be able to do this, more than one. Well, that's it. This side will be the crown. This side, if I decide, will, will have the, um, the, the bridge. That's how mine is now. Okay. So I have four implants on this side. And then this side, on this side where one implant failed, mm -hmm. the bridge is for three teeth. Okay. Because I use the crown the old root canal crown that i had in the front they took that one off and then the new implant they used that one so it had two posts that were super strong mm -hmm. and then the one in the middle they removed it completely and then um graft it mm -hmm. and let the bone grow back hmm. i mean i could have gotten another implant but to be quite honest implants fail and it's yeah. it's proven that over years, years down the road, an implant can fail. Mm. So it's not a um, a sure right, thing. Right, right. I didn't live when my face was swollen from all that dental work. Mm -hmm. I did. I just went on live for a little bit because I was so bored. I looked like somebody, like a snake bit me six times and somebody beat me up on top of it because everything was purple. Mm -hmm. My eyes swelled up, everything. Mm -hmm. It was like that for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. That's when I did the upper. All those upper implants. Mm -hmm. That's when I did that. My nose swell up. My cheeks mm. under my eyes turned purple. Right. Yeah, I just didn't realize this. Well, wake up. Well, I think I realized it a little bit last night. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm going to go to work looking deformed. Mm, it, was, it just starts to go away on its own. Mm. It's expected though. Yeah, I guess. I have to get all of this stuff done before I retire. <laughs> mm, might as well. You got dental? 
Yeah, but you know, um, they don't they don't cover a lot of stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have the uh, the flex tendon, so that's oh, so you just paid into it mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Done. I like the light you have in here because it's Thank really you. nice, yeah. Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. All right, so she is going to process for another couple minutes. So I'm going to ask you guys this question on the live that I always ask. When does relaxer processing actually start? When does relaxer processing actually start? Let's see who knows. As soon as you put it on the hair. Thank you. Who said that? Sharon Lockett, you are so right. Thank you. Absolutely. The moment you put it on the hair is when it starts. When you start application. Good. You guys are listening. It's always good to do a review. Some people used to think that relaxer processing started once the stylist finished putting it on. If that's the case, then we all gonna be bald heads. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys up here. There we go. You started looking? Yes, ma'am. I talked to um, Andrea. You did? Yeah, I did. You reached out to her? Isn't she nice? Mm -hmm. She's like, you know her, so you like, you know who she is. I'm just saying, you too. Watch it, watch it, too. She is so nice. She knows her stuff. She does. I've been following her ever since that day. Telling you her co this Conference color could slide down, color coding and all, all that. All of that. Listen, that lady is awesome. I was fascinated, and I don't even, I'm not even in that industry <laughs> I was fascinated. Yeah, I got, yeah. And then, good. Have her, and I thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I was like, yeah. She knows her stuff. She's going to get you on the right track. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anyone with such organization right. in, in that process right there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so for my client here, we're going to be doing a protein treatment. She's actually my last client of the day. I didn't put excited for you. Oh, gosh. I'm going to stay excited. I just don't even want to go to work. I want to just stay work on your own <laughs> stuff. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Like, you start you start appreciating your own self a lot more. You see your worth way more. Yeah. So glad. We have um a conference that I signed up for. Where is this one? She does them in different places. One is coming to Orlando. Oh good. So, good, good, good. Actually two, but um yeah. Start there. I got the planner. And I've been building my, going in order, building my, um, my stuff you my need. Code, yes. <laughs> the good thing is you know most of it because you're already right. doing it. So you're not the person who is not really in it already. Right. And you know the current stuff that's needed. So. Mm -hmm. You're on the right track. I'm looking for property and everything. Reba? That's been the hardest, though. So you know, I just don't have. Mm -hmm. That's not even a day. But you can get a real to do that too. Can you find one? I've been talking to one. Good. They do it for you. They'll figure it out. You just tell them what you want. But yeah, they don't know. Um, the ones that I talked to thus far has just not been as positive as I want them to be. Like, give me an example. Like, they said, no. I've been saying, that's basically saying that I can't do it. 
To do what? A place? Mm hmm. So when you turn a residential <laughs> to a commercial? Is that what they mean? Or are you doing just, a commercial? Just period. I'm like, well, I don't want to talk to them. You know, they'll just say it can be done, but they really haven't um, never done it. Right. So they'll, you just need a commercial space. It's not even that complicated. You can lease a space in a storefront. Right, but I'm just saying they haven't been helped. I'll get you one. <laughs> I, I have two. I'll give you one in specific. It's a guy, and he does commercial real estate. He'll find them for you. And then when he finds them, he sends you a list of them, mm -hmm. and then you look at them on, on the email, and you say, which ones you want to go see, which ones you don't, you don't like, you just keep moving. So before you go today, I'll give you his, his contact. Okay. And then I'll let him know that you're going to call. And that's all he does is commercial. He even looks it up to see if he can get grants and stuff in certain places. And now I looked into that. But it was, they were like, um, grants are just for you know, the person that I spoke to. But it's just for a non-profit. You know, it's not. That's like Orlando. And All like you have a, to do is a, be either a female or, or a black lady or a Spanish lady, and you automatically qualify for the city of Orlando as long as it's within a specific zone. Just being a minority. That's it. Yeah, you know what it is, the person you talk to and people aren't comfortable and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're going to tell you a bunch of foolishness. I've learned this the hard way. Not know. I didn't even know at first that uh, commercial realtor was a thing. I didn't even know that real estate was negotiable. I didn't know that leasing spaces was negotiable, that everything is, is negotiable. You can say, hey, I want you to give me $20,000 towards my build-out costs. They can say, okay, well, hey, I'll give you five. Okay. You have all of that. And you didn't even have to get the grant. The build out can be building out the walls, adding another bathroom, whatever. You use it towards anything that's gonna improve their space. And that's it. So I'll give you the person to talk to. Come on. You really need, I really need your help with my two strands of hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. Your two strands of hair. Wow. Your smile is so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm. Ready? Mm -mm. Come back. Come back. Slide down. Oh, Thank you, Alicia. You ever thought about solar panels? Nope. So the good thing is God blessed us with an amazing house. You know why? Because our light bill since we've moved there in the middle of the summer has been no more than $120. Hmm. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And we have natural gas. So our natural gas bill is like 60 bucks. So when I was thinking like, oh man, I think we should get solar panels, thinking that because of the size, it's gonna cost a lot more in electric. I don't think our light bill can go past 150. Wow. Mine is almost 400 every month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They made sure they built, and I'm talking, we have a lot of light. Nice. We use a lot of light. But all of the appliances are gas. Mm. Is the bridge removable? No, it's not removable. Hmm. Not the bridge that we're discussing, uh-uh. Thank you, Rosemary. I watched you yesterday, now today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why not just be sitting out here talking crap to people all day? Specifically my faves. <laughs> like this one, I don't really like her too much, but she's a nice lady. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, you're welcome, Grasshopper. Does it fit? Did it fit? I kind of guessed. So I really hope that the dress fits. Hi. The rest is big. I remember I sold, plus my sister took it to wear tonight. Really? Your sister sold the dress. You see how that goes? I sent a dress for Grasshopper in Jamaica, and her sister took the dress. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, wear the earrings. You wear the earrings. Terrible. Oh, you're welcome, Octavia. We didn't know your shirt size, so we just guessed. They steal my things all the time. Really? Mm -mm. That's sisters. What are they for? So I am going to get some hair color real quick. You have your hair stuff locked away. I don't blame you, girl. I would too. It sound like they take everything. All right, so I'm getting her hair color ready. Because once I shampoo her, we're going to put her color on. The conditioner is on now. Oh, good, good, Octavia. How much weight have you lost? you get the relaxer that's when the great really pop out mm, mm, mm. only 10 10 is a lot <laughs> especially for those of us who didn't lose none 10 pounds is a huge difference how come we can't see her hair this is the top secret client you guys <laughs> i can let you see the back of her head as i shampoo but you can't really see much more <laughs> let me see if y'all can see from here there y'all go mm -mm. hey monique So Monique is green because she's actually one of the members for Elite Hair Care. Ten pounds is a lot. Ten pounds is a huge difference. So I'm going to neutralize slash normalize her now. Who can tell me what normalizing or neutralizing means when you're doing a relaxer? What does normalizing or neutralizing mean? Stopping the process. Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. Okay. Because technically you're not, it's not stopping the process. There's something that you have to do when you do a relaxer. Oh. It's not to stop the process, it's something else. Hmm. To bring the pH to normal, there you go. Wow. 
So you are restoring or balancing the pH. Correct. So you're restoring the hair back to its normal pH. That's why when I see people do relaxers and then they just use regular shampoo to wash their hair, you're not restoring the pH, so don't wonder why a couple weeks later your hair's falling out. Or if you don't normalize or neutralize thoroughly, that can happen as well. All right, so we're gonna towel dry her hair. Okay, so the towel drying is important because number one, if we're doing a color, you don't want all the color to just drain off of the head. Number two, you want the color to adhere, right? Most semi-permanent colors actually should be applied to the hair when it's dry. So that's another reason why towel drying is important because you wanna remove as much moisture as you can. So we're going to put it on her hairline first. That's the most resistant part. Also right here in the crown. So you want to just make sure that you apply the color to the most resistant areas first. Ooh. And then small sections or small partings to ensure that you cover everything. Especially when you're dealing with gray hair, especially if you just did a relaxer. Because remember, the, lay, the hair is laying super flat. So you can easily have some gray hidden that hasn't been touched because your parting was too wide.
Alexa. Hey Siri, set timer for 25 minutes. Are you saying relaxers do not tame gray hair? Oh, hold on. I don't know if y'all are talking to me or talking in the comments. Could I use a different type of payment to purchase your hair products? Nope, we only accept credit cards, my love. Which semi-permanent color do you think works best with gray? Um, Clairol makes a great semi-permanent for gray. It's called um, Advanced Gray Solution. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of frizz tamer. Well, I thought I was gonna do that. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Come on, let me put it on here. I thought I was gonna do something to my hair. Can't see here. Oh gosh. I'm gonna stick this up. Mm -hmm. No, I was gonna just put your severe glue in here because I thought I was gonna be able to curl my hair, but once she is under the dryer, I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about getting rid of a little bit of the bark? Okay. A little. In the base? Yeah. Yeah. It'll help. Give it a shape like this. Very good. 
did it, a fifth piece lie. No. No. Okay. You've been rocking your hair But this side feels, when I unwrap it, mm -hmm. it feels, this is flat and this is like more body on this side. It depends on how you're wrapping it. So it sounds like you're wrapping it in an odd direction. So what you can do, instead of wrapping the top, mm -hmm. the wrapper right here, mm -hmm. you can do like a doobie. You remember the doobie? Yeah. Where you like, you can pin curl the top. Um, I know. I'll show it to you when, um, when I stop you. That instead of wrapping it, it'll keep the body. I'll tell you how to keep it. Mm, my back. Mm. No, don't say that. Mm. Oh, yes. mm. Ooh, Lordy. This is my first time in your comments, but huge fan. I have sent you videos to my stylist. It helps us a lot with my issue. You're the best. Thank you. Way too far from my irons for my liking. Where am I located? Orlando, Florida. Hey, I don't have a credit card or Visa card. Could I pay for a money order from a bank to purchase your product? So Doreen, um, you'd have to basically send your order via mail. And then once we get your order with your money order, but you'd have to actually know what your total is going to be. So what you can do is Place your order, put everything in your cart, print the card out, and then you can send a money order with that or a check, whichever you prefer. And then when we receive it, we'll place the order for you and ship it that way. But it's kind of be, I don't, I don't really trust the sending a check system through the mail. That don't necessarily work. Because now you're leaving your check by chance of the mail. Are you located in Pine Hills? Nope. I was at one point in life. Am I there now? No. But your girl grew up in Pine Hills. 
I moved to Pine Hills when it was still residential. Definitely not any longer, but yeah. Can you pay with PayPal? Nope. I don't affiliate with PayPal, honey. PayPal blocked me years ago. Nor do I want to use PayPal. PayPal likes to control your money. If you do one thing they don't like, all of a sudden they hold your money for six months. They won't catch me. They held my money for six months. Uh -uh. And there was another business that I had. It was a weight loss business. But honey, you won't hold my money. You wake up one day and all of a sudden you get an email that your PayPal account is frozen because they don't like the products that you're selling. <laughs> you ain't going to control a dollar of mine. I need to see my check every day. Nope. It is. You'll be surprised that I can use a flat iron and curl my hair better than I can with um, anything else. I've been watching your videos and I like the work you do trying to find a good hairstylist. Oh, okay. Well, if she asks me about Pine Hills, then that more than means that she's somewhere near. Well, that's true. The world don't really know about 438, sweetheart. I don't really know about them places. Mm -hmm. Only if you're from 438 would you yeah. know 438. Yeah, that's true. I love watching you do your own hair. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate doing my own hair, but great. I don't know one doctor that says that they like to perform their own, own annual exams, pull their own teeth, do their own surgery. <laughs> You'll never hear that come out of our mouth. Not saying that I'm an MD or anything, you know, but I could be. When's the next sale? I'm an MD of hair. Yeah. Um, the hair Halloween sale. That's August. August. October thirty first. Could be one before that. You guys know I'm an impromptu person. Would it be possible for you to do two clients in the same day? I do that already. I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm not understanding your question. Do two clients in one day. Oh, meaning two of you book the same. I do that already. <laughs> you know, I love to get to the point where, you know, one client, I charge $1,000 and I have to do one client a day. But you know, wow. you know, I'm not, I'm not there. <laughs> Two new clients with Virgin here. Why not? That don't stop my books. My books don't work that way, baby. So I could have two clients that book a Virgin relaxer back to back. That's normal. I don't really see anything that could out outdo me when I'm at work. Like that could really just make me feel so defeated. Unless you ask me a billion questions. That's different. I have a feeling this piece is going to be crunchy, you know. I knew it. Crunchy. Do you know any similar to you beauticians in Colorado? Colorado girl. Does anybody know anybody in Colorado? No. It's like saying you in Utah. Who <laughs> would I know? No, I don't know anybody in Colorado. Colorado's a little light skin. It's very light skin. No, I don't I don't really know anybody though. I'm just being funny. You guys are really coming in quick with the with the questions and not gonna let me finish my hair. Can you explain this ex imp oh I'm gonna say Empress collection and what it is best for? Shant Shantaya. 
or Shantaya, which which I want to make sure I said it right. Um, the Empress collection is a strengthening collection, so it's designed for really anyone. Um, it's great for people who have nut allergies. That's number one because it doesn't contain nuts. It is a strengthening collection that is powered by horsetail butter. Okay, so we use horsetail butter for that collection. It can be used as a, um, like a silk protein line where it's not like raw protein, but the horsetail butter makes it where it keeps the hair nice and soft. It helps to rejuvenate and repair the hair. So that collection can be natural or relaxed. Anybody can use that collection. But it's specific for strengthening weak or damaged hair. Oh, what's the Empress collection used for? How do you take care of 4C nut? That's a very vague question, baby. How do you take care of 4C? I can't even answer that in one answer, much less one video. Because just because you're 4C, that doesn't mean that your care is going to be the same as another person who's 4C. So really, being 4C means nothing. What you want to know is what is your porosity, what is your hair texture. 4C just tells you your curl pattern. That really means nothing. Texture, porosity is really where it matters. So those of you that were in my porosity class, what does act what is actually the word porosity mean what does porosity mean what does porosity mean do you or would you take walk-in clients no 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 you know even as at a young age i have never done walk-in sweetheart i like to plan my life I like to know who's coming, when they're coming, by name. I don't do the walk-in thing unless I had a day where I was sitting there twiddling my thumbs. And even then, I was skeptical of walk-ins then because I'm like, why didn't you make an appointment with a real stylist? Like, you knew you needed a relaxer. Now, I don't do walk-ins. I don't, I don't even answer faces that look like I'm, you shouldn't be in my mm -mm. If you ring my bell and look like you don't belong here, I'm not going to answer. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. If you ring my bell and you're super light skinned, I know you're not my client. If you ring my bell and you're semi light skinned, you're not my client. If you ring my bell and you got a wig on your head that looks like it's glued on, you're not my client. If you ring my bell with a full head of braids, you're not my client. Oh my you ring my bell with twists in your head, crochet, anything that looks like it required somebody to use their hands and do it, you're not my client. Because that means that you didn't prepare your hair like I told you to, or you went to the wrong salon, because you're not my client. Oh, my goodness Period. gracious. Okay. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. 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 Terrible.
Sometimes if I don't know you, I press the little button. Hey, can I help you? Because I need to know who you're here right. for. You didn't right. hear from me? Hmm. You don't know who angry husband or girlfriend coming up in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they used to get upset because I would just let it ring. I'm not answering that. You're not for me. Thank you. Because if you're in here, that means that you're not a walk-in stylist. Right. Right. You remind me of my mom, straightforward. If that's a good thing, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. That's it. Somebody said, I'm glad I'm home alone because my family would think I'm crazy for laughing out loud. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nope. Porosity does not mean the elasticity of your hair. Somebody tell me what is the definition of porosity? Google. I would have did that long time. What does porosity mean when you're talking about the hair? Mm. Porosity definition, yes. If you took my what's your porosity class, if you took my low porosity class, high porosity class, I actually gave the definition in that class too. It's very important for you to know what porosity means when it comes onto your hair. The ability to accept moisture, the ability of the hair to retain hydration, the amount of moisture the hair retains. Elle Nicole, you had the closest response or closest answer to the right answer. So porosity is defined as the hair's ability to absorb and retain moisture. That's the ultimate answer. The hair's ability to obtain, well, I'm sorry, retain and absorb moisture. Well, relaxed hair, we have a high porosity, right? We absorb everything, but it drops out at the same time. It's like the straw roof that we see on like the little cabanas where it's somewhat protecting you. It's somewhat grabbing the little raindrops, but some still can see through and it comes right back out. That's the same thing. The amount of time the hair takes to dry. No, that's a part of the characteristics of porosity, of your porosity. So each porosity has different characteristics. High porosity hair takes the least amount of time to dry. Low porosity hair takes the most amount of time to dry. Low porosity hair is also the hair porosity that doesn't absorb water very well. It takes a lot of water to make it wet. And then it also takes a very long time to dry. High porosity hair, you don't have any problems with absorbing water. And more times than, nor than normal, high porosity hair is people who are color treated, relaxed, chemically straightened. They call it the damaged hair porosity when really that means nothing. What's the difference between the Empress Collection and all the other products? Blaze, you be asking me some real long answer questions. Now tell me, you expect me to give you that answer in one video? That's mm -hmm. a lot. I've been on YouTube for over three years, and I still can't give y'all one whole video of product knowledge. Just know the Empress Collection is for strength. The Hair Repair and Restore Collection is for what? If it says Hair Repair and Restore, what does that mean? The Moisture Repair Collection is for what? Someone give me these answers. If it says Hair Repair, then that collection is for hair repair. <laughs> if it says moisture repair, then that collection is for moisture repair. If it says strengthening, then that collection is to do what? My burn off my molds. Strengthening. <laughs> so all of my beginning lines, I was very straight to the point. My products are named the way that I think. I needed to say what it does. It tells me what it does. I hate to see products, macadamia nut oil and babusan butter or something. What the hell does that do? Am I supposed to go Google what it's going to do for me or it just sound nice? A lot of product lines name their products that way. Hence my competitors. So I wanted to name my products in a way that even the slowest person on the planet would know exactly what it does. And it's easy to know what you need. That was on purpose. This hair right here ain't gonna come out too good today, but we just gonna make it work. Okay. 
This is going to be a, oh, I need something for the week style. Is this right here is for the birds. <laughs> Normally, if I'm like in a good mood, good mood, good mood, no, hair doing good mood. Just doing the back there, the, the, Nothing, the, I just kind of spike it out. Front, the front is lovely. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, no, because the back, all I do is flip it up so that I can spike it out like that. Oh. I don't really do much to the back of my oh. Because then I just pull it out and then kind of rough it up, spray it, and then just mold it in together. That's all. I can't really see the back of my head anyway. So I, I just kind of do what I do. And then it just kind of works. It works. I'm just going to drink tea in my mind. Octavia, you get on my nerves. Hey, Siri, off. It's because you do very good work. Thank you, Judith. Blaze, I know you're long-winded. That's why you want to ask me these long questions. It appears my hair is getting longer. Yes, you mean after that butcher haircut that I got a couple months ago? You know how long it took me to get my hair back to this? Yeah, nice and long on the front. I like my hair to be nice and big on top. I gotta spray it down. Oh, okay. I'm going to drink water and mind my business. <laughs> Don't quote no Patrice Rogers and Roberts in here, please. Well, I'm going to drink water and mind my business. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You know, I've never actually really curled the back of my head. Just come fix it. Come. Oh, I know to fix it. No, I, I ain't going in front of it. All right, here. See it. there. Come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Just fix the little piece so you can't stop for sure. <laughs> it's just to connect it. Oh, it's, right here? Yeah, it's just to connect it there. Other than that, other than oh, that it's everything all right. It's connected there. now? No, it's not connected. Right here? Yeah. You got to... Right yeah, there? Yep. Yep. There you are. Much better. It was going to do that anyway. <laughs> and then when I go to sleep, it just pushes in. Oh, Papa. Is it there or is it not there? It's getting there, but not there. Like if you had curled this up. Which piece? You see that? This piece right here? Yep. Yeah. Right there. Right see? here? Yep. Right watch there. your hand. Watch your hand. Right there. Right there. If you had to bring that. Mm -hmm. See? Is that good? Much better. Okay. Only because you're here, because I really still, don't care what see, it looks like. No, in the back. man, you have to finish the back. <laughs> How I'm going to see back there? But, right imagine. now, the only thing that really matters is the front of no, my no, head. No, 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 no. Yes, be because as soon that. as I go to bed, all of this do this. No, 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 no. It you sticks gotta, to the back of my head. You got to finish the back. Listen, it's done. Sit down. Oh, my goodness. She's refreshing me, you see? Looks so nice. Because that's how it's always supposed to be, the front. <laughs> all that matters is the front of your head. That's no, it. No, you got you to gotta have no. the whole thing. No, I can't. I never really mess with the back. I'm not going to tell my story. You, you know why? Because you see, by the time I lay down in the, in the, at night and I put my scarf on, it pushes it together anyway. So I never really have to mind. I never really have to care about you it. You don't put scarf on your hair? A lot. You do. So it just, it just goes like this. You said I'm pretty? Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on back. Thank you.
You ain't never seen like shaggy here? That's the new style in Paris. Oh my goodness. What's the new style? Shag. Shag. <laughs> it's all the rave in Paris. Oh, and the more I spray it, the more it goes pew. Man, you guys see those grays? Wow. Mm-mm. Get that. Does black hair make your hair look fuller, thicker? Yes. Yes. Is it uh, wise for me to get a rent? You can. It doesn't hurt. It helps. It just makes it appear a lot fuller. And it, it kind of like, the, the reason why is because it, it gives a reflection. Like a luster reflection. So yeah, it works. That's why when people come, like if they have like really damaged hair and they cut their hair, usually we recommend a dark rinse. Because it fills it in and it gives it appearance of healthier look. Mm -hmm. The lighter it is, the more damaged it looks. Who is the Canadian distributor? Her name is Julian. If you go to our website, EliteHairCareUSA.com, there's a tab that says Authorized Distributors, and it links directly to her site, which is EliteHairCareCanada.com. You had a question for me? Mm -hmm. You want to ask me something? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm, go ahead. I'm go ahead. The, but will it hurt, damage my um, hair? The rinse? Area. The yes. semi-permanent? No. It's deposit only, so it's like writ dye on a shirt. It's a stain. That's all it is. Hey, come on in. I ain't gonna walk past it. No, you're fine. 
did not ask the ladies. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. My name is Sharon. Sharon. Yes. And me and my mom, we have a business called Wiley Treats. So we sell different desserts and sweets. And just want to see if you'd like to support us and buy a treat today. So what's the, that one? That's a key lime cake. Mm -hmm. So it's key lime. I have um, pecan pie, sweet potato pie, chocolate covered strawberries, candy apples, candy grapes, and a cake called almond cream cheese. This is like a, it's like a pound, but it's flushed with almond almond flavoring. It's really good. Yep. What's the brown thing in house? Brownies. Brownies. I have brownies, brownies with walnuts, walnuts in it. And I have them without walnuts. How much is the candy apple? They are um, four or two for seven. Okay. How much do I have? Two. Okay. There's nuts on it or no nuts? Nuts on it. Fourteen. Okay. And what form of payment do you accept? Cash. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Cash, 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 cash app. app. Or Zelle. Okay. Would you like a bag, sweetheart? Yes. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. And for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have you had it before? Uh -huh. key lime. Every time she come well, here, uh -huh. no, not the key lime. I usually buy whatever. I just try. To, I eat the grapes. I've had pound cake. I had all. I just haven't tried the key lime yet. This yeah, is gonna be my first she, one. She be stirring around like, what's different? Let me see. Oh, let me try this. Yep, that's I me. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people. Yes. Which one is? Okay. Okay. Which one is you again? Um, early. That one right there. Okay. Mm. You can come sit in my chair, Lita. I need to see what's in the basket. It is. My kids like these, the chocolate covered strawberries. I'm to be on here. I'm trying to go somewhere else. Now I'm on there. Now I'm strolling for a minute. Like, let me just go. I'm here. Might as well. I might as well. Yes. Might as well be on camera, honey. Four zero seven. Four zero one. Everybody on here is like, yum. I want some too. They say yum, they want some too. Who? Oh, my YouTube. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Come for Mmm, brownie. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Can I see the box please? Yes. Thank you. You got me on loud. Hmm? No, it's not. 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 Okay, I'll try this one. How much is that one? It's five. Is that five? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. He said, right, key lime and chocolate covered strawberries would have been me. I love 7-Up cake, too. <laughs> yep, I usually have that. I switched it out for the almond today. Can I have a box? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Hey, can you hear me? Thank you. All right, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. You ladies be blessed. Okay, you're over there. See you. Thank you. It's breaking up. <laughs> can you hear me now? Oh, okay. Okay. So who are the chairs out there for? Because I don't remember those chairs being out there. Okay. This is a part of your enrollment initiative. Okay, so that's still the... 
So is it who is did a new you said there's a new owner now? So it's no longer the, the people across the street? Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I remember that one. Can you go to the the back? Remember where where it was like AC and all that stuff was hanging? It went away. It went away, just so you know. Okay, I see it now. So were the repairs already made or they still need to be made? Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So have any improvements been made since since the almost a year ago, I guess? No, okay. Okay. Okay.
exactly. All right, you guys, sorry I had to mute the phone because I had a meeting on the phone. But my superstar client, my um, top secret Quantico client, and then my other top secret super client right behind me, um, I gotta let them get out of here. So, you know, they don't want to be seen. Um, and she just, in the, she under the dryer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, you guys, I'm glad you guys were able to join me today. Thank you guys so much for staying on live, for all the jokes, all the laughter, all the information. That's really what Elite Hair Care is all about. So I will see everybody in the next video. I have a couple videos to upload this weekend so you guys will get some new content. And I hope everybody has an amazing weekend since today is Friday. Hey, Dad. Bye. Bye. My dad just jumps on and I'm about to jump off. Bye, Daddy.